<clears throat> My name is Larry, and I stand. Take your time, brother. Before God and you tonight, humbled that I've been asked to give my testimony. Something I've never done before, at least not on a scale or in a setting like this. I'm proud to say I've been a musician, a drummer for 44 years. I've also had issues with alcohol and drugs since high school. Not all the way, but on and off since then. What I've taken, how much, how often, would be irrelevant at this point. But my life has been affected by it all. In 1976, Jesus showed himself to me in a very real way. In 1978, after two deaths in my family, that changed my life. I gave God my heart, broken as it was, and stopped it all. Drugs and drinking. Since then, I fell more times than I can mention, but the Lord helped me pick myself up again and continue on in Him, and that's how it's been since. Good years, some not so good, some very bad and lost, but God has a plan for us all. Before I came into the mission, the drinking had been slowly running and ruining my life, along with some very serious prescription drug use and abuse. I had talked to and talked about various programs because I and those who knew and loved me knew I was in big trouble again. But I just didn't want to hear it. Wouldn't do it, knowing I should. The worst part of it was it was hurting my wife and our life with it all. I quit caring. I truly had felt there was no hope left. The drugs, the alcohol, depression, giving up was killing our marriage. My beautiful, wonderful wife, Lourdes, has always loved me and I her and always been there for me, unconditionally. But I just quit, gave up on myself, not her, not others, just me. I've always been my worst enemy. My wife had enough. She had to leave. I lost her home and so much more. I was staying in my car in my church parking lot the following week. Three of my brothers that are alumni graduates from here or from the mission, and my pastor all talked, and I decided to come to the mission. I had nowhere to go, and I had prayed about it, and God brought me here. On November 10, 2011, God answered my prayer the day I walked in. What a wonderful place it is. This truly is God's house. It gave me a safe place to stop and breathe again, and most importantly, reacquaint and renew my relationship with and to get to know God my Father, Jesus, and to walk in His Holy Spirit who lives in me. I'm so thankful to God who heard my cry and answered and saved me by and through His mercy and His grace. I've been given my life back, a life truly with and in Him. He has given me more hope than I've ever had. My faith has never been stronger. I've never loved him more than I do this very minute. I'd like to say a few words about something very important to me also, music and praise and worship. A big part of my program and a big part of, of most of the chapel services at the mission, the music therapy program with the rescue mission headed by Pastor Mick Hartley is so essential for us all. I play with two great worship teams. My brother's here. In House Band 1 and my case manager, Angel Valerio's praise team. All of his program members and band members from here and other churches that come in all worship together before a service most mornings and nights of the week. I've counted over a 100 chapel services, three graduations, and most recently, Sleepless in San Diego to help the homeless that I've got to play for. I've been able to play for God, then to God. It's overwhelming. And we all do it together. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed and thankful to have this privilege. So I say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for the San Diego Rescue Mission. For bringing me here and using this place to save my life, give me new life, 
to put me back on the path to you for giving me my heart back, softening it, molding it, to be able to see, hear, feel, to be able to laugh again, to be joyful, something I haven't done in quite some time. Thank you for keeping me off the streets. And I want to tell my wife, Lord, this, my heart, and also my inspiration. <clears throat> How much I love. How much I love and appreciate you for being the beautiful, loving, wonderful, caring person that God made you and you've always been. Thank you, honey, for loving me back, supporting me always. Thank you. I'd like to thank Herb Johnson, Jim Donahue, and all the staff, all our residential managers, all our case managers that keep the mission running tight the way it should be. All the donors, all the volunteers, and everyone at the mission so much for all you do to provide for us all. May God bless all the men, women, and children who found refuge here, new hope here, new life here, who found God here waiting for them. My my victory is not mine, but God's. I give him all the glory and honor with a truly grateful heart. I say I love and thank Jesus Christ, my Savior, for everything I have. And I have a scripture I like to read that I'm sure will speak to all of you. It, it spoke to me in such a big way. And, and to, uh, to stand here, I can't speak for God, but his word, I just think you should all hear this and take it to heart. Isaiah 41 Verse 10 and 13. Fear not, I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you and uphold you with my right hand of justice. For I am the Lord your God who grasps your right hand. It is I who say to you, fear not, I will help you. In Psalm 98, verse 1. So sing a new song to the Lord who has done marvelous deeds, whose right hand and holy arm have won the victory. God has truly blessed us here all at the San Diego Rescue Mission. And one thing i like to say to my brothers in the mission, all of you, and to anyone else this might apply, <clears throat> get out of your way. Just step out of your way. And let God come in and make a difference in your life in your life. Make all the difference in your life. Then step out and make a difference yourself. Whatever you do, wherever you do it, my model since I've been in the mission is to make it count. Just make it count. Be the change you want to see in the world today. Thank you. <clears throat>